So what were the top stories of 209 and what will be the top stories in the new year? We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Billy D. Teacher and welcome here to my video channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching this video and any other videos you have watched or will watch. And again, if you watch videos, whether it's before midnight tonight, feel, please feel free to comment. Or if you watch videos next year, please feel free to comment. Whether you agree with me or you think I'm out to lunch, you are welcome. your comments are welcome. So what were the top stories from this past year, 209, at least in this humble video channel creator are they. Now I won't be able to tell you all of my top stories here, but if you like you can read all of them on my blog, or at least the ones that came to my mind when I was do posting, my posting it on my blog. First of all, the health care debate. Moderate Democrats like my own U.S. Senator Ben Nelson going along with the wishes of those on the radical left of his party, who now control his party. The war with radical Islam kept going on, like that suicide bomber who on Christmas somehow got on a plane that was going to Detroit. Thank God his will was protected. What ha protected from prevented and protected from ha what happening. That again shows that our current White House and some of our leaders aren't committed to defeating the radicals in Islam as much as they are to defeating us. President Obama moved into the White House and took over the nation and pushed the radical left's will on most issues on the American people. President Obama poll numbers going down. Also leaders in the Senate and the House not following the will of the majority of Americans but just kept pushing agendas from the left. The movement of the Tea Parties. Many American Taxpayers and voters finally got fed up with leaders not listening to them, so they decided to start having tea parties. Good for them. The death of U.S. Senator Ted Kennedy of cancer. Truly the end of an era regards what your politics is with Kennedy's death. So what was the top story of the year? The war with radical Islam was pretty close to being number one. But to me, the top story was the health care debate. Moderate Democrats, again like my own U.S. Senator Ben Nelson, going along with the wishes of those on the radical left to get a health care bill passed in the U.S. Senate. No longer can Senator Ben and others like him who claim they are middle-of-the-road Democrats say that they are middle-of-the-road Democrats. Nelson sold out and let many pro-lifers down in supporting a bill that will fund the killing of the unborn. What will we be talking about next year at this time? Well, only God knows that. And I'm not a prophet or the son of a prophet. But here are some of my picks. In some cases, you can call them educated guesses. Obama will keep pushing his radical left politics, which makes me keep thinking that I was right in something I said last year. In a few years, Obama will end, in a few years when Obama was up for re-election, he will end up being a one-term president just like President Carter was. The leaders of America will keep from acting like radical followers of Islam hate us and will think just reaching out to them, just being nice, they will keep saying and doing that. Sad, is it? It may cost America more lives. Many Democrats in the House and the Senate will lose their jobs because of their support for government health care. The war against people of faith here in America and around the world will increase. People of faith will have to decide if their faith, if they have faith in a leader, a leader, a government, a political party, or a political system, or in the one true God who gave his life for all of us. People of faith being murdered, abused, and even put in prison around the world will keep going on, and us in America will ha will have to see that people around the world are truly suffering from the Lord and get over some little things like the sermon going longer than 10 minutes so we miss watching the kickoff of our favorite NFL team. 
well, those are just some picks and some of what I think the top stories were of the new year. Only God knows what will happen in this new year. And that, that is why us who are people of faith will keep praying, keep praying for America, praying for all our leaders. Because only God knows what is ahead. But we can be content, be content in knowing that God is still in control. Happy New Year, I hope and pray. Until next time, Nick, until next year, I'm Billy D. Teacher. I'll see you.